Hey, I'm Aja A, and welcome to Sunshine Haze. Don't forget to check out all the links that I have listed down in the description box. And if you like the video, please give me a little thumbs up. If you have any questions after the video is over, feel free to drop them down below. I try to respond to everyone. And if you all know people interested in astrology, numerology, tarot, or whatever I'm talking about on this channel, go on and send them this link. And don't forget to hit subscribe. And of course, thanks for tuning in and rocking with me. May this info help y'all live your best lives. Peace. Hey, y'all. Welcome back to Sunshine Haze Co. I am Aja A. As you see me in my comfy clothes on my couch and no tarot cards in sight, uh, this is not the regular video for my channel. This is going to be a quick video in response to something that I came across on the internet today. Um, before I get started, let me just give the quick disclaimer that this video is in response to a video that I watched. I do not know the woman that posted the video. I have not ever seen a video of hers in my life. I didn't know who she was until today. She has quite a large following um, and you know, props to her for that. But um, one of the more recent videos that she posted, I was just like, <laughs> I was so floored. I was like, what is this? So to give y'all a little bit of background, um, I was on, Facebook earlier I belong to uh I believe it's a black tarot I think it's a it's either like a black women astrologers or a black women tarot reading or divination or spirituality something of the sort I belong to a few of those groups across several uh, different social media platforms so there's one that I'm pretty active in or actually no not this one this one I believe I'm kind of new in this one um there's one that I kind of just got into but you know I'd be in there talking to people you know, mixing and mingling networking and stuff but uh somebody posted a, a status and they were mentioning this video that they watched and the video content is about how tarot card reading is or tarot cards are going out of style okay and <clears throat> So she asked, you know, what we thought about it. And so everybody's commenting, sharing the same insight that I have, sharing the same perspective, like, what <laughs> is that nonsense? What are you talking about? Like, where did that come from? So she tells us there's this video. This is what the chick was saying. So y'all know me and my Capricorn rise. And I said, let me go see what this is about. Let me get the knowledge and the information first. So I went over to YouTube. I literally, all I had to do was Google tarot cards going out of style. I did not know the person or the channel that I was looking for. So, and I'm not going to link that video in this one. So uh, that's all you got to do if you really want to watch that video. <laughs> um, I saw it, I clicked on it. And the first thing I noticed was that it was an hour and a half. <laughs> and I was like, oh no, baby. It'd be a lot for y'all to sit through my 20 minutes of talking to y'all about the moon. I was like, mm, ain't no way I'm about to sit here and listen to an hour and a half of whatever is going on in this video. So I scrubbed the video a little bit. And in the parts where I stopped, it was just a lot of hollering and preaching. <laughs> I, I believe she uh, d delivers the word. I'm not entirely sure. I um, But I did hear a mention of, you know, like, this is not something that God wants you to do, right? And so I clicked out the video. I went and scrolled through the channel. I didn't click on any other videos, but I did look at some of the titles of the videos and I found it interesting that this person, um, going a little bit further back, there's videos about tarot and divination. And then I believe some of the more recent videos are more so like religious. <laughs> and so I, I just found that very interesting. And I wanted to come in here and give a response to that, not necessarily for her, but for the people, especially the people who struggle with, I'm a Christian, is it okay for me to read tarot cards? Or I believe in God, is it okay for me to go and get a reading? Is it cool for me to, you know, pull an oracle card, to watch these videos on YouTube? Is the devil coming to get me when I go to bed? The answer is no. <clears throat> no, the devil is not coming, not no, not no to all that, but no, the devil is not coming to get you when you go to bed. Um, what we fail to realize right not just right now in all of history especially with all of these religious constructs for all of the many different religions okay um spirituality is not something that can come it, it doesn't have a set of rules spirituality is something that needs to be developed and practiced by the individual and it is human nature to want to have things set up for us so people naturally tend to flock towards religion people like to have a guidebook we like to have we like to have a set of rules not necessarily for us to adhere to look so i'm comfortable time i ain't got my drink nowhere out i listen 
um, <clears throat> we like to have something to go to go by. So I, when I was younger, I was very much so into, I really wanted to read my Bible because I was like, I need to have my, my guidebook for life. Um, for those of y'all that are very religious, that are Bible thumpers, that are here watching this video like, oh, she about to tell y'all the bad word. I have read the Bible front to back twice. There, I have a Bible verse tatted on my foot. There are certain parts in the Bible that I very much so agree with, but there's a lot in the Bible that doesn't make sense to me, that it, and not in the sense of, oh, I don't understand. It just doesn't make sense and it's not logical. And there are some things in the Bible that I do not agree with, okay? And that's how I feel about religion. And that's how a lot of people feel about religion. And we are in what is called the a Piscean Neptune era. Neptune is in Pisces. It will be there until about 2025. This is a time where people are really going to be tapping into and discovering and trying different types of spiritual practices and, and divinations and, and things of that sort, which is okay. My outlook on this is if you feel called to practice any type of spirituality and it is it really feels like your heartstrings are pulling you, then that is what you should at least try. And when you try these new spiritual practices, you all said, listen, I believe in God. I would not call myself a religious person, but I do believe in God. I read to y'all pay me to read y'all's cards and I get good feedback. I have never had somebody tell me that the reading that I gave them did not resonate. Okay, personal readings on top of the readings that I post online. So if you feel called, if your heartstrings feel pulled to practice some sort of divination or work with some type of divination tool, remember that everything is about intention. If you feel a little nervous, when I first started reading tarot, I remember I, I had to, I sat down for about 15 minutes and prayed and was like, look, I don't know what I'm doing, God. I'm not really sure. If this is not what I'm supposed to be tapping into, please protect me. But if it is, please show me a way and kind of make it click for me so that I know that this is a gift that I am supposed to be using. And I'll tell y'all my tarot story one day. Some of y'all know it, but uh, after my first tarot reading, I believe that God showed me that that is a gift that I'm supposed to be using to help people. So <clears throat> if you believe in God, it is okay to pull tarot cards. It is okay to pull oracle cards. It is okay to do chakra work. You can go get a Reiki treatment. You can... Um, you can work with your stones, you can work with your smudge and your incense, you can journal, you can you can do astrology, okay? You can believe in astrology. If you read the Bible, there's astrology in the Bible, which is for a whole extra video. Now that is a video that I could that I could use a whole hour and a half to talk about. <laughs> okay, if y'all want to talk about the Bible and how the things that you guys are so against <laughs> are actually in there, I will be more than glad to put up a video about that. But I'm going to save that for another time. But just to go back to what I was saying, you can believe in God. You can even practice a religion. I'm just, I'm not very religious. But if you practice religion, you can practice religion and you can believe in God and you can read tarot cards. You can go and get a tarot reading. What I will say to you guys is that it is very important that you use your intuition and you consult with spirit or God when you get into these things. There are, as I mentioned, we're in the Piscean Neptune era. So on top of everybody getting into their spirituality and progressing spiritually and, and growing in their own light and their own ways, we also have the shadow aspects of this side of Pisces and of Neptune, which is delusion, um, secrecy, right? And so and and so there's also there's also a lot of spiritual fad things happening. Y'all remember when Sephora was selling sage? That was some Neptune and Pisces, and that was some. That's something that you guys should watch out for. You know what I mean? Um, so if you are looking into tarot and you're struggling with, oh well, I you know I'm Christian or I, I believe in God. I don't know if this is right. You know, take some time to work yourself through that, to pray about it, to to consult with your higher self in regards to the divination and spirituality that you want to start to tap into. And then be on the lookout for two types of tarot readers that I would say you need to watch out for. One of them um, happens to be the type of tarot reader that a lot of you all follow. These readers that are on the internet. And yes, I am a YouTube tarot reader, but I actually do this. Like I actually do help people and pull cards and I have a whole business doing this, okay? Um, look out for these tarot readers and these, you know, fake astrology Twitter pages and Instagram live tarot card pullers 
that are doing it for clout and for money one because they won't last they won't hang around which is something that i noticed on that channel i don't know if this woman was uh offering tarot readings to people or not but uh, what i picked up on was she might have been doing like she might have actually been doing this as a business venture at one point in time and her you know her business might have dwindled or she might have been getting called out for giving inaccurate readings i like again i don't know i don't know her i don't know nothing about <laughs> Because I really don't have time for y'all to be banging on me in the comments. That's the only reason I'm giving that disclaimer. But, you know, be mindful of people like that. Again, use your intuition. Again, pray about it. Whatever it is that you do to get yourself right, that's what you need to do when it comes to getting readings or pulling tarot cards. Um, pray about it and use your intuition to decipher and decide whether or not this is somebody who really has a gift to be reading, to tap into your energy, and whether or not they're doing it with the right intention and there is no right way to read tarot cards yes there are you know suits and the numbers and the and the um the court cards and stuff and yes you should you should put those meanings on the card but every tarot reader is different i read more intuitively as opposed to going based off of the literal and at and like accurate meanings in tarot i go based off of the imagery on my cards i go based off of the messages that i hear the auditory messages that i get the visualizations that i get when i pull these cards as well everybody reads differently but um you know just be mindful of these people because there are certain people that just shouldn't be reading cards that actually do not have one the gift and two they're not doing it with the right intention which is to help people and to provide insight um, for others so that they can progress and grow and bring in positive energy in their lives themselves. The other type of tarot reader that you guys should be looking out for, well, they're kind of mixed and mingled. That The first one was the social media tarot for clout reader. The other one is the one who's just doing it for money. Um, if you, like, you can get on Instagram and there are some tarot pages that they don't put up videos, they don't do card pulls, they don't do, but then you see their posts and their amount of followers and you're like how did they get that many people and are there really people paying 150 dollars for a 30 minute tarot card reading and you know i don't do the research to see if these readings are accurate but you know um as humans we're naturally inclined to if we spend that much money on something whatever message we get back we're gonna be like okay mm -hmm, I, I see what you're saying there so my thing is yes you it, it tarot is a, is a spiritual tool it is a divination tool so anytime you do any kind of spiritual work you put yourself into a position to open your energy up to pick up certain things energies entities um connections cords of attachment to things that you may not necessarily want which is why it is important for you to protect yourself and then if you're not the one doing the reading which is why it's important for you to actually find a tarot card reader or an oracle card reader who is really about their business and who's really not out here just doing it for clout who really wants to help um and it's also important for you guys to not look for people who are fortune telling um there is this mis misinterpretation misconception that when you go to get a tarot card reading we're going to tell you your future there are some people that do read like that i would say to stay away from them um you want to you want to look for people who are reading based off of intuition and who you feel a connection with and if you've been getting readings or if you do readings you know that sometimes you just don't connect with people and that may be why that your readings do not resonate and that you need to take it upon yourself to listen to your intuition listen to your higher self and go find another reading you guys need to have that same discretion with these youtube readers especially the flip floppy ones who were like three months ago like no come get your cards pulled with me and then today they're like actually no let's talk about this verse in the bible also tarot cards are bad they're the devil no shade <laughs> so yeah i just i just wanted to respond to that and let you guys know that if you are christian and if you believe in god it is okay to get a reading it is okay to get your cards pulled it is okay to buy a tarot deck. It is cool to accept the tarot deck that your spiritual hippie friend is trying to give you because he or she knows that you need to tap into your own divinity, okay? It's all good. And then at a certain point, if you feel like it doesn't work for you anymore, that it's actually putting you into some sort of bad energy, you need to look at the way that you're protecting yourself. And then you also need to look at, hey, maybe this is not the tool for me right now. And that's the whole thing about spirituality. Again, 
my nose is itching <laughs> make my grandma used to make me laugh she was uh, she always used to say uh she still says it to this day she said when your nose is itching somebody wants to kiss you so who's out there if you got my number bang my line um <laughs> but yes i just i listen that was on my mind and i just could not sit down and watch soul without letting y'all know that it's okay to get tarot readings even if you do believe in god like i said i have i have socks on but i have a verse on my foot a bible verse on my foot okay and i'm interested in what y'all think not necessarily interested in what the bible thumpers think but i am interested in what the other spiritualists and tarot card readers and diviners and healers believe that also believe in god or consider themselves christian but but do what we do. I'm curious. Drop a comment. Shoot me an email. All the things. Whatever. Connect me on the other other platforms. All the things. And that is all I got for you because this wasn't even supposed to be a whole video. Um, happy New Year because we'll have that in a couple of days. Uh, very quickly for those of y'all that are on Clubhouse, I will be. I don't know if it's called hosting or moderating. I don't know. It's new. I don't know how to say it. But I'll have a room on Clubhouse on Monday, six. PM Mountain Time, which is about 8 Eastern Time. I'm going to be talking about the full moon in Cancer. And I am a Cancer Sun, Cancer Moon. So y'all actually do want to hear this information from me because I know, listen, I know all about this energy. Um, so if you're on Clubhouse, I have a link down in the description box that you can click on, um, put it in your calendars so you can be reminded if you have questions or anything of that sort, raise your hand in the room or whatever, whatever it's called. I just listen. I'd be in Clubhouse just listening. I don't really be pressing the buttons or anything or talking <laughs> I just be listening so this will be my first time talking on clubhouse but I will be in there talking to y'all about the energy and you'll have an opportunity if you have questions about the things that I'm talking about in these videos you can ask them to me and I will give you a response right then and there because it's like we'll be on the phone and yeah I got other videos that I want y'all to watch check them out they're all linked down below in the description box book your 2021 readings with me i've got two versions two versions and i will catch y'all in the next year five numerical energy lots of change and transformation coming in i am excited for it for it and for us and for y'all sending y'all hella positive energy love peaceful vibes all the things because i know we need them as we exit hell year 2020 again happy new year one time for the one time i will catch y'all next time peace